Daniel chapter 12, 38 lessons we have done in Daniel. And at that time shall Michael, that's the archangel, the only archangel named in the Bible, and he's the prince of the children of Israel, stand up. The great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, Israel. Daniel's a Jew. So Israel has an angel, an archangel. Maybe the only one. I mean, as far as archangel. And there shall be a time of trouble. That's Jacob's trouble. And that's Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Tribulation. Such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And Jesus said, such a time of trouble that never have happened, ever on the earth. Scripture was scripture. And at that time, thy people, the Jews, shall be delivered. The second advent. Because in previous, in Daniel 11, we closed off. Kaboom! Antichrist is gone. In the lake of fire. Satan will be bound for a thousand years. Jesus Christ comes. Overtakes the Antichrist. Bounds up Satan. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. So there is a book. Written. As far as the Jews. And many of them that sleep, death, in the dust of the earth shall awake, resurrection. Some to everlasting life, they're right, they did good, they, they, they obeyed God. Some to shame and everlasting contempt. Now this is Revelation 20. Because there's no pre-law or people under the law or the Gospels. At the judgment seat of Christ. David won't be at the judgment seat of Christ. He'll be at the great white throne judgment. Adam will not be at the judgment seat of Christ. He'll be at the great white throne judgment. Now watch Revelation 20. And I had a preacher tell me, oh, I'm full of it. Yeah, I'm full of the Holy Spirit. I don't know what you're full of. Revelation 20. Now watch. Verse 11. I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, Jesus Christ, from whose face the earth and the heavens fled away. The earth is gone, burns up. There was not found no place for them, the heaven and the earth. I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. The church is going up in Revelation 4. The books were open. Another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things were written in the books according to their work. Now the Christian is not judged according to his work for salvation. He's judged by his works according to crowns and rewards. Now if you now their expression, who he that endured to the end, Jesus said. If you obeyed the law, you did my commandments. James says to the twelve tribes scattered abroad. Be doers of the word, not hearers only. So the books are open and you, you did right even before the law. It's not by the blood of Jesus Christ for salvation. The sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered the, up the dead that were in them. All right, here comes the people that are lost. <laughs> They were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell was cast in the lake of fire. This is the second death. Whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast in the lake of fire. Well, what if their name was in the book of life? They gain entry. They go into. The Gentiles will get, I believe, the, the, the new heavens. I believe the Jews get the new earth. The Christians are already settled. Um, back to Daniel 12. 
So there are books in heaven with names. And there are books in heaven that don't have names. And the, as far as Daniel and Israel, and the, there are two general, res, well, like one general resurrection. But it's two parts. It's those that are saved and those that are lost. There's no church age yet. They that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. Wise to what? The wisdom of God. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of, uh, of knowledge. The, to obey God. To know the holy. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Now we use that verse for soul winning. But do you know that for the Jew, they in the Old Testament... Were, were to point others to God. You know, it says to the Jews that they're to write the scriptures on the walls and uh, on the doors, and they're to sit and talk of the scriptures. On the Sabbath, they're to relax and not work and think about God. They're to train up their children. But thou, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. Now, some will say that this sealed book is the sealed book of the book of Revelation. Is it? Could be. Even to the time of the end. Well, one problem. When that book, the seals are removed, it's not the end. It's the beginning of troubles. Because you got the seals, you got the vials, you got the trumpets, and the three woes. Time of the end. Now, we're, now that's exactly where we're going. Where we go? Where we are going in this chapter? Many shall run to and fro. <laughs> that's what they're doing today. Knowledge shall increase. Oh, boy, that's today. But they've been learning things ever since. <laughs> it was a civil war. They learned. You know what? If we wash our hands. When we do surgery, and then we go deliver a baby, the baby that doesn't have chances of dying because the, the diseases of our hands when the soldiers, they learn that. And they learn a lot of things. There are things that we know today that Daniel didn't know. There are scripture things that Larkin knew, but things today we know that he didn't know. So, knowledge shall increase. And a, but we're talking about the end times. We're talking about at the end of the tribulation period. Here we are. You got people running everywhere, everywhere, doing this. They know this. They know that. But they're too ignorant to realize that Easter and Christmas are not your holidays. Then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, there stood other two. The one on this side, on the bank of the river, and the other, the other on the side of the bank of the river. So here's a river. And the river has two banks. There's a man here, there's a man there. And one said to the man clothed in linen, he, I don't know if it's the one that we've seen before in Daniel, which was upon the waters of the river. Oh, wait a minute. There are two, one on this bank, one on that bank, okay? Here's a man clothed in linen, and he's on the waters. Remember who we said that man in linen was? Jesus Christ. So, when Jesus Christ walked on the waters to the men in the boat, that wasn't the first time. History repeats itself. 
Because we looked at that man clothed in linen with Revelation chapter 1. That was Jesus. Before he was born. Upon the waters of the river. How long shall it be to the end of these wonders? I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand to heaven. Makes you wonder if that's how he ascended to heaven in Acts chapter 1. And swear by him that liveth forever, that would be the Father, him himself, God. It shall be for a time, one, times two, and half, three and a half. That's the three and a half years of the great tribulation period of the seven. And when he shall accomplish to scatter the power of the holy people, they're going to flee. They're going to run. When they open up that, that, that holy of holies and, and the image is there, they're going, to scatter, they're going to run. Jesus said, pray that your flight not be in the winter, pray not on the Sabbath. <coughs> All these things shall be finished. That's the one that said on the cross, it is finished. Salvation is finished. Daniel's 70th week wasn't finished. They rejected him. Now, had they believed Jesus, oh, that finished work on the cross would be Daniel 12, but they rejected him. And I heard, but I understood not. I heard what he said, verse 7. I don't know what he's talking about because it's not my time. Now watch this. Then said I, O oh my capital L, Lord. Any other Lord in the Bible is small L-O-R-D. That one's capital. And it's not the first word of a sentence or speaking. Explain that one to me. I can imagine what the modern Bibles do to that one. What shall be the end of these things? Well, he just asked that question, verse 6. The answer was verse 7. I don't know what you're saying. That's the problem Jesus had with the disciples. He told them, and they didn't get it. And I heard, but I understood not. And said, oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? He said, go, my, go thy way, Daniel. And the words are closed up and sealed to the end of time. We, you know, we've done 38 lessons of Daniel. And there are a lot of things we didn't understand. Because they have not been opened. They have not been revealed. They won't be to... Jacob's trouble. Many shall be purified. Many, not all. And made white. And tried. Those are the ones who washed their robes in the blood. Revelation. Those who have died for the word of God. But the wicked shall do wickedly. The wicked. That's the Antichrist. We'll do wickedly. and We'll do even worse. Beyond all the capacity of man, that, that wicked one. And none of the wicked shall understand. So there's a complete no understanding. Even the Antichrist, Satan incarnate, the false prophet, if it is if it is Judas, but the false prophet itself and the Antichrist, they don't understand. But the wise shall understand. The fear of the Lord is beginning is beginning the wisdom of God. Wisdom comes from God. Who are the wise? The 144,000, Moses and Elijah, and those that get converted. 
those are the ones that are going to be in Revelation 12. That God gives them wink. We better get out of here. That ain't God. Now, there'll be some Jews that are going to fall for it, and they're going to stay for the Antichrist. They don't understand. Understand what? The entire Bible being opened up, I believe by then the Jews are going to accept and read and know the New Testament. Well, how do you know that? Well, there's a book written to Hebrews, right? And then James writes to the 12 tribes scattered abroad after the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus. Well, right now there are 12 tribes scattered aboard. They're going, this is written to us. Doctrinally, those books are for the Hebrews, for the Jews, but spiritually, we can apply it to our lives. You can't make it a mandate of the church like you do with the with Gospel of Matthew. That's not our book. Matthew says to him that endureth to the end. That's not our salvation. And the same, you know, there'll be rumors of wars and earthquakes. Oh, Lord, oh, the Lord's coming back. Oh, what, oh, endure to the end. Well, you know, that's that's like going to a store, getting chocolate chip cookies and pulling the chips out. I just want a cookie. It don't work that way. And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, that's when the Antichrist goes in to the temple says, okay, no more lamb in the morning, no more lamb at night, according to the law. And the abomination that maketh desolate set up. That's the abomination of desolation that Jesus spoke. We already spoke about it in Daniel. That's what Jesus said. When that time happens, spoken by the prophet Daniel, you better get out. You better move. You better fly. You better pray. To who is he speaking? To those that have wives. Verse 10. I don't know if those 144,000 are going to say, hey, listen, okay, the abomination of desolation, this is what Jesus, this is what the Messiah said. Eh, you're full of it. Ain't nothing going to happen. Like when we preach the gospel of Jesus, eh, I got my Jesus, you got your Jesus, I got my church, I got, I just go take a flying leap somewhere. We've already spoken about this abomination of desolate. Here it is, the close of the book. Here it is, the close of the end time. There's three and a half more years left. A time, a times, and half a time. When it's really going to get in deep. When it's really all the things and the plagues are coming. There shall be, now, here's two more date. here's two more, not date. here's two more times. And I'm not going to get into it because I don't understand there should be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Now, earlier we talked about a time period. The book is sealed. The book is closed. <laughs> Blessed is he that waited. Man, Psalm says that all over the place. Wait on the Lord. It's Jewish Psalm, not Christian. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shallow death, I will fear no evil. Yeah, that's a nice hymn. That's the Jews running from the Antichrist. Thy rod and staff. And that, don't you remember a place in the Bible that says that he's going to feed the children of Israel by the head of Leviathan? He's going to crack the devil's head open and give you food. He's prepared a table for me. Selapetra. And, and, and the place, I think it's Proverbs or something. You know, I, I've seen the righteous that, and, and they're doing great and wonderful, the prosperity gospel. Paul said, there have been times I've been hungered. There have been times I've been thirsty. There have been times I've been naked. Oh, you're taking a screw. You're taking a verse out of context.
Blessed he that waited and cometh to a thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. Eleven and twelve are two different times. It'll, it'll, it'll work its way out. Don't you worry. It's not for us. But go thou thy way, Daniel, to the end be. Keep on living. Keep on doing what you're supposed to be doing, Daniel. For thou shalt rest. Your life, Daniel, is going to be a rest. And stand in thy lot. At the end of days. He said, "You're silent." Is Daniel going to show up in the in, in the tribulation period? Because the end of days is the time coming to the second advent of Jesus Christ. You already got the coming of Moses and Elijah. I'm going to leave it right there. I don't know, but I know one thing: when Jesus Christ comes. In the thousand year millennium, okay, Daniel will be there. As will be David and Solomon. And Jacob and Abraham. In a period of rest. Alright, now we're in the millennium. That's what happened. The end. Alright, Jesus, there's a tribulation period. There's a three and a half years of great tribulation. The Antichrist sets up the abomination of desolation. Boom. Get out of here. Run. Go. Dun, 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 dun. Here comes Jesus. He rescues the Jews. He puts the Antichrist in the lake of fire. He bounds Satan for a thousand years. There's a thousand years of rest, and Daniel will be there. Daniel, you want to come forward in front and sort? Yes, sir, Lord. What do you want me to do? Let's just teach everybody your, your book. Oh, okay. Especially those that don't believe it, especially those that changed it. Take all the time you want, Daniel. Or in no rush. Well, you know, Jesus, Lord, God, Savior. You know, there's 12 chapters in my book. Yes, sir. There's 12 chapters. We got to do it in 12 weeks. Oh, come on, Daniel. Really? How long did it take you to write your book? Oh, yeah, yeah, huh? You know, Daniel is a period of years. At least four or five kings. In your Baptist church, we're going to do it in 12 weeks, maybe 10. Oh, we did the book of Daniel. We didn't learn nothing. You know what kind of disappointment that is? Because I remember one time, I went and got a dozen donuts for me and my wife. The donuts are good, except if you're a diabetic. But, oh, I, I love the Bavarian cream donuts. They're just, mm. My wife chose out her donuts, I chose out my donuts. I end up with two Bavarian cream donuts. Mm. I grabbed those two Bavarian cream donuts. I bit into them. There was no Bavarian cream. Both of them. There was just donut. That's what you Baptist churches, when you do Daniel in 10 to 12 weeks. Look, you're a donut with no filling. And you're going to get, you're going to have to answer to God for it. Every word. That's what Jesus told the devil. Every word. In the church one time we were in, we're going to do the book of, of Judges, I think it was. We got the Judges chapter 3. Well, you know what? It's repetitious. It's the same thing over and over and over. We're done with Judges. Let's move on. We finished the book of Judges. No, you didn't. You came up with a, quite a few chapters. that. Were, so then when you get up there and say, We've done, we've done the entire book of the Bible. No, you didn't. You just lied. Lie to me once. And that's it when it comes to the Word of God. 